Today we have day number five of the little Pat McGrath lab series that I'm currently running here on my channel. Essentially I'm just doing like an everyday kind of wearable makeup series using all of my Pat McGrath labs mothership palettes and the other palettes that I own from her in my collection. There's 14 in total and we are on day number five as I said. So bronze seduction is today and we are just going to create a super simple easy everyday wearable look that you can do and achieve with bronze seduction. So let's go ahead and get started. Now before we do, you know the deal, let's go ahead and do the youtube -y things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's get into it. Let's go ahead and prime with Makeup by Mario and I'm just going to prime the lids using this one. I'm trying to kind of still use it. I really love the Rare Beauty eye primer and I've been using that mostly so I'm trying to like make sure I use this one up. I feel like my um, eyelids are so dry today because I've got a cold. You might be able to hear it in my voice. Um, nothing serious. It's literally just a little cold, but um, my skin's super dry because of it. So there you go. I feel really like this use series might be useless because I feel like the looks I've been doing really are quite simple and maybe they're really obvious, but hopefully they're giving you guys some inspo. Um, anyway, we're gonna dip into this shadow first. This is my What's Up Beauty R104 brush. And I'm just gonna start really, really light because this is a little bit too dark of a transition shade for me. So I'm just gonna start by using the like featherest, featherest, the softest of feather touches, I guess is what I'm trying to say there. <laughs> and just kind of fluff it through the crease and then I'll just once I'm happy with like how the transition shade kind of looks that's when I'll start to deepen it up a little bit you know so my laptop pretty much died the battery died so I had to like take it in which means on the weekend because on the weekends normally I work like 24 7 on YouTube and so Yes, I have no life if you're wondering. <laughs> my laptop died is what I'm trying to spit out there. So I can film because I don't need my laptop to film, but I can't edit, which normally, you know, I can't film all day, every day. Anyway, um, so because of that, I decided to, you know, do something that I never do, which is just like chill out and watch TV. And I started watching this little show called The Summer I Turned Pretty on um, Amazon. And I didn't realize one that it was written by the woman who wrote To All The Boys I Ever Loved, because I love those movies. Anyway, she wrote this, like she wrote the little series of this, and this is season one, which is book one. And it was so cute and adorable, sad as well. Like, you know, all of the emotions, like any good romantic kind of thing does. Um, but it was adorable and I was so into it. I watched all all seven episodes and now I'm like gosh when is season two gonna drop probably not for a really long time <laughs> so anyway this is why I try not to get into series because I'm like super impatient uh, I'm just gonna switch to a Rafa 13 with the same color um, just to pack it on the outer corner a little bit more yeah this is why I try not to get into like TV series because honestly I just get so into them and now I'm really impatient so and I was gonna read the books but the books are quite different to the TV show because I was googling the series so I kind of know roughly what happens because I'm ridiculous and honestly can't handle waiting but the books are really quite different not quite different but they're they're a bit different to the the TV show and I feel like I might like the TV show better um, just because of the changes that they've made, I'm, I'm on board with. Anyway, um, but yeah, so we'll see. But if you've watched it, let me know. Cause it's, and if you haven't watched it and you like those little rom-com, like teenage kind, kind of things, then I, I recommend it. It's, it's quite cute. Especially if you like To All The Boys I Ever Loved, you'll like it. See how I've like built this up here on this side quite a bit, by the way. I just did that by basically the lighter the touch you go and the less product you have on the brush, the softer kind of more washed out effect you're going to get. And then the more product that you have and the harder you press, the more you're going to kind of build that product up. So this is where it's like choose your own adventure and make it as dark as you like. If you have a deeper skin tone, obviously this might be like the perfect transition shade for you as well. And you don't really need to finesse it too much. I forgot to say, if you didn't even want to like 
finesse it that much if you just wanted to be super quick you could just grab your bronzer or like a lighter transition shade if this tra transition shade is too dark for you and you just wanted to make it, make it a bit quicker of a process you could do that as well before I decide to go in if I was gonna go in with a deeper color or not uh, I'm gonna actually take my intensify stick and pop this onto three quarters of the lids or maybe even a little bit more than that So I'm just going to pick up a flat shader brush and I'm going to dip into this color right here and I'm just going to tap this over. This is just going to create that kind of like wet glossy look effect on the lid but it's not going to be too opaque so it's really quite soft. Just going to dip back into that initial transition shade and brush that we use, the What's Up brush, and I'll just kind of tidy it up a little bit. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to dip into the eggplant color here just with an angled brush, and I'm just going to do a soft little wing. So I just kind of see how like there's this point right here where like my lower lash line comes up and connects from like, see how my hood my eye here, like my hood kind of comes out a bit further. I just kind of like draw it up from there. I don't know if you can see that. So that I can bring it in. Because one, I don't want it to be like too crazy of a wing. And two, when I open my eyes and look straight, the hood doesn't cover it. And then the hardest part is I have two completely different shaped eyes. So even getting these close to the same is so hard. So I'm going to leave it there. They're not like perfectly matched, but that's okay. They can just be cousins. That's fine. With my, my eye shape is just cousins. So I feel like the wings are fine to be cousins as well. We're going to move on to the speed through part where I speed through and uh, show you guys how I do my base makeup and then we'll come back, do lower lash line and lips together. So let's do it. makeup is done I just quickly put the black on the top waterline and the champagne on the bottom waterline and then for the lower lash line I am just gonna keep it nice and simple like always I'm just gonna take this brown shade that we ran through the crease and run that underneath here this is just a BK 203 for the inner corner I'm just gonna take this one I'm just gonna put my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk mascara on. The eyes 
are done, I'm going to take my Pat McGrath lip liner in the shade Contour and line the lips. And then I'm going to take the Pat McGrath Satin Allure shade in Negligee. All right, that is perfect. Let's zoom you guys back so you can see the finished look. This is the finished makeup look. What do we think? Is this nice and everyday and simple and wearable? This was a very, very quick and easy look to achieve and you can obviously tailor this to suit you as well. You can deepen it up. You can use a lighter crease shade. You can lose the wing. You could change the shade on the lids, all of that jazz. You can really tailor it to suit you. But hopefully it's inspired you to bring out bronze seduction and have a little play with it again if it's been a little while. And hopefully you're finding the series enjoyable. Let me know what your favorite look is so far. We have so many days to go, so strap on in there and hopefully it doesn't get boring. Now, if you're watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. I appreciate you so, so much. If you haven't already, pretty please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It helps my channel out so much. And I hope that you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.